what it was like in the process of talking about moving to Florida. Were you the one who said, hey guys, you know, I need to be in Florida because I need to be playing golf year round. Yeah, it's always something my parents wanted to do. And as you know, with I used to play ice hockey, so that's, you don't come down here for ice hockey. But as soon as I picked up the clubs, I just want to be in warm weather. I want to be able to play all year round. And so I was like really pushing that to them. And it was a dream of mine to move down here. So you're a hockey player who plays golf. You're truly Happy Gilmore. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Tell me the, the, the correlations between hockey and golf. With hockey, you're taking a shot and you're holding your hands out as far as you can. So that's kind of like golf, because hockey, you're not flipping your hands. Flipping your hands is bad. It's, it's in bad in golf as well. So that helped me. That sets like the base for yourself. So I didn't start from scratch. I had the basic fundamentals down from hockey. So your dad wasn't a golfer when you were a kid. How did you get started with golf? Um, you just go out with his friends and play and I'd be going to hockey practice. I'd be in the cold rink, and I just wanted to get out there with him. So I went one time on the weekends, and I just, I enjoyed being out there. I loved it, so I just kept going, and the rest is history. What do you consider your biggest win as a golfer? Coming back, like when you're down by a lot of sh strokes. Mm -hmm. I've had one, I was down by seven coming into the final day, and I, held my mentality strong and I came back and that was really like a game changer for me because I proved to myself that I can do it no matter how far back you are just keep your mindset to it. Is that important to you to have fun on the golf course? Yes. Yeah. When you're not having fun I don't believe that you should play. I do it for fun and I love I enjoy doing it so I'm gonna keep doing it. When you see your name at the top of the point standings for the Hurricane Junior Golf Tour. How does it make you feel? Proud and, you know, when they're doing all this hard work and sometimes you feel like it's not paying off and you don't see the results and you just keep waiting and being patient and you just keep working at it and then you get that, like, big reward, it feels great. What's the strongest part of your game? Like my wedge shots, like my 100-yard, 80-yard wedge shots. Um, I feel like that's the most important part of the game, too being able to get it on the green and hit it close and giving yourself good birdie opportunities. Do you appreciate that your dad is just a dad and, and he lets your coach be a coach? Yes, it's great. <laughs> you say yes very adamantly. Is that a very important thing to you? Yes, like he helps me with little stuff, but I like having my coach as my coach and him telling me what to do. So let your dad just be a dad and yes. be a father. Mm -hmm. What advice would you give to other daddy caddies out there? Let your son or daughter play and uh, just let them have fun. Don't boss them around. Just let them have fun and see where it goes. That's really good advice. What's it going to take for you to stay on top of those points rankings for the rest of the season? Just going to keep working and my mentality, keep working on the short game, just always getting better, always want to see improvement in the scores. Is there a switch that you flip though where you go from we're all having a good time to competitive mode? Yes. As soon as I tee off on the first tee, I like, I joke around and have fun while we're walking to our balls maybe, but as soon as I'm ready to hit, I focus, do my pre-shot routine and try to hit a good shot. What are your golf goals for the future? I obviously want to make it to the PGA Tour. I feel like that's almost everybody's goal who plays competitively, but even if I don't, I want to stay in golf, even if that's being like being a head pro or being a teacher, something like that, I always want to stay in golf. Well, you're getting a little experience now because you got a little brother. Are you his kind of golf coach? Yeah, whenever I can, I caddy for him because he can have a caddy and try to help him out as much as I can. Is he a good listener or? <laughs> he tries. <laughs>